Hi guys. I was, uh, of course, going through the Facebook feed and my dear sweet friend Devin's like, how can I be more organized? And if there's one thing I learned from my Capricorn mother is how to be organized and how to stay organized if you choose to, okay? It's not apparently for everyone. Oh, that's not gonna come off, okay, fine. But it's just like anything else in life. Once you get on it, make a habit of it for 21 days, then it becomes a habit, right? It only takes 21 days to recreate a new habit. So, I would always first suggest getting a huge calendar or your Google Calendar. I prefer Google Calendar. And you open it up for the whole month. Well, the physical calendar, I write on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Sunday, vlogs and replies. Bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room, laundry and shopping, and rest. So if you schedule one of those chores per day, that will be less things that you'll have to do on the weekends or whenever you don't feel like doing it. Because if your room is already pretty much tidy, then every Monday you should only have to tidy it up. Bedroom, bathroom. In the bathroom, you're with yourself. How dirty can a bathroom be? And even if you had kids, one kid gets in charge of the bathroom. So that one kid just cleans the bathroom or keeps the bathroom clean. Well, after a while, it's not very hard to do. You just tidy up. Same, living room, kitchen. And then on Fridays, when I have a car, I go shopping at midnight and do my laundry. Usually that's the time people are out partying and kids are already home eating dinner. So there's no, uh, you know, great amount of people in the stores or laundry places excuse me then i put all of that from the paper one that i can actually see big into google and which is in your cell phone and now as soon as an appointment or something comes up i go right straight to my calendar i put it in the calendar i set the reminder for a day ahead and then I set the reminder for two hours ahead so come tomorrow my reminder saying hey don't forget you have a doctor's appointment at one o'clock so then at 11 o'clock it goes off don't forget you have an appointment at one o'clock then I take my shower shave shower shine get ready slowly eat something pack my bag because you know I take outreach so I got to be prepared have my bottle of water have a little something to eat and be prepared. So if you do that right away, then you're always gonna be on time, always on schedule. And the other big thing is you gotta stop letting people talk your face off. On Sunday nights, when I do all my, my three blogs, update two websites, update my Hootsuite for the whole next week, I, and Hootsuite helps, if, if you sell anything, if you have a business, Hootsuite really helps. It's time consuming the first few times, but once you're on a roll, so like now, when I sit down to do mine, if a lot of things aren't happening, I do it, I set all my links and stuff set up for times and days to go to be posted automatically on all my social sites, okay? Now, it might take me a good, if I didn't do it and keep up on it, it might take me a good two hours solid to fill it in for the next two weeks, okay? But since I'm on my game and I stay on my game, I pretty much now do it once a week and I can now, since it's already set up for three weeks in advance, now I can just take one whole day and that just takes a few minutes. And I'm set for three weeks and a day. I don't have to worry about any marketing for the next three and a half for the next two and a half weeks, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so let's say you have a mess, a holy tear that you need to first clean up. 
Mama always said, you never leave the, the room. You don't go out of the living room. If you're trying to clean the living room, don't go out of the living room until it's all done. If you're a hoarder or you have a lot of clutter, it might be a little different. But still, you don't go out of the room until it's all done. Then you could go to the kitchen. And you don't leave the kitchen until it's all done. However you want it to be in your mind. So when, when it's all said and done, you can go to the next room and the next room and the next room. And in each room, you have to continuously get rid of something to allow room for prosperity to sit. Okay? So, not allowing others to take your time, sticking to your schedule. Early in the morning, first thing I do, I wake up, I, you know, say my prayers or whatever, go to my altar, spend time, sacred space, spend some time in sacred space. Uh, I try to go out, I drink my water, I go outside and just be thankful. Come back inside, go pee. I um, check my Facebooks to see if anybody, it, see how many people are buying things off of my Tosh Touch page. Then I go to the big computer, tap the space bar, all my email for the day, for the past 24 hour download. And then I will scan um, Tasha's Touch. I will scan Twitter. And then once I do that, get my ride scheduled today for three days from now. Shave, shower, shine, have something to eat and dig in. Make my jewelry if I have something to make. Um, do marketing for people that have businesses that pay me to do their marketing and, and dropping their links. Make sure I have all of them in there. And everything is set on a schedule, you know? So that is another reason why I try to rarely be on the phone. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of kids that call because they're having whatever issues and their parents don't pay much attention. So I listen, that's why I got a brand new headset. I listen while I'm doing other things, okay? Now, if you can't pay attention and pop in where you're supposed to, obviously that's not good for you, but I'm pretty sure, Dean, that you're the type of person that could listen to somebody and type a message at the same time. He must be thinking about me. Uh, so that's why I always uh, prefer to have a good headset. I can type. I can walk around the house. I can listen on the cell phone, do other things. I can still plan, plot on my cell phone. Then when I get back to my computer, then I can do other things. Because I'm one of them type of people, even though computer guys tell me I'm not supposed to, but I have 10 tabs open, and I'm consistently working on one than the other at some point in time. I shut off email now. Because I and I save email to do for um, the evening, so I'll put I'll listen to something like Ocean uh, documentary, and I delete all those thousands of emails because I'm in like 200 email groups. Yeah, and then of course all the motivational stuff that I get daily, uh, and you know it's it's all well and good for when I need motivating. Then it's easy just to go to the trash click something and get my boost and then go back to my routine. Delete, 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 save, forward to storage, forward to storage, delete, 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 save a picture, save a picture, you know, and get it done. Stop lollygagging. Stop, you don't always have to read every single little tiny thing to know what it's about or to know, I mean, unless it's from, you know, your mom, your sister, your brother or something, then yeah, you gotta reply to the whole email and read all the questions or boyfriend or girlfriend and read all the questions and things like that. But once you have a system, it's easy to stick to the system. You know, if you if somebody wants to call just to shoot the breeze, you have to call back after seven because generally I'm marketing from four, at least from four to six. Um, and then I will have a light meal because I try to eat my heavy meal when I first wake up. And then I have a light meal around, oh, I don't know. I get up late, so. I, I generally don't eat till like seven o'clock and then midnight, which then I just mostly have fruit and maybe a sandwich, something like that, you know, and tea. So 
once you get in a routine, whatever it is, just stick to it. But you have to remember, you cannot sit here lollygagging if it's not that allotment time. When it's time for to be in math class, be in math class. Don't be in English and math and history. No, be in math class. When it's time for you to clean the bathroom, sit your balls down while you're peeing or shitting or whatever and sprinkle the tub with Ajax, you know. Spray it with a little bit of water. Throw the thing in there so you can clean it down. This hand over here while you're sitting on the toilet. Put some Ajax in the sink so you can wipe it down. You get up, you wipe your butt, you turn around, put some Ajax in there. Clean the tub, clean the sink, clean the toilet. Wipe the base of the toilet if you're not going to mop the whole floor. But even while you're sitting there taking a shit, you could have been mopping the floor. See? It's all about time management and then sticking to the schedule. So while you're taking a shit, you could be talking to somebody on the phone. They don't need to know. Put it on mute. It's easy. Now we got, we got our headset. You put that on mute while they're talking. You take your dump and you, uh-huh, yeah. And then what happened? Uh-huh. Put it back on mute. Sure. Sure. So then when, when the, your day off to do absolutely nothing in the whole house comes on whatever day you want it to be, and it should be a day, um... A whole day, I mean, then you can just do nothing but have fun all day and not think about paying bills and, you know, this and this and this. Just sit and you do watch your TV all day and then go out to the park and do whatever. Um, but my main point in all that is once you get on a routine, it shouldn't take you but a few minutes to clean the bathroom on Wednesday. It shouldn't take you but a few minutes to clean the bedroom on Monday. It shouldn't, you know. If you pick up, you don't put your drawers on the floor, then they won't be there for you to pick up when it's bathroom day. I, and I know it sucks. A lot of us still want to be big kids and not be responsible, but I don't put my underwears on the floor. I don't put anything on the floor ex except jewelry storage stuff. <laughs> That's it. If I do have a dirty pair of socks, I mean, you know, you play the basketball game and give yourself two points. <laughs> Go get ice cream with your two points or something. I don't know. But once you are on the schedule and stay on the schedule, it's less work in the long run. Don't let things pile up. As you've seen my past videos, I moved from a two-bedroom house to a studio, what, umpteen years ago. No, I moved from a huge one-bedroom apartment to a studio. Well, of course, I had a lot of stuff. You know, but it was comfortable for me being one person in the studio. So, and even my, my room now, I've lived here for, what, three months. And I'm still getting rid of stuff that I know I just don't need. So lately I've been giving away a lot of stuff because I don't want to live in clutter either. I need a place for prosperity to sit and play. So just remember that. Stick to the schedule, even though it sucks. Because just think of it this way. And in six weeks, you're going to be on a routine. And then once you're on that routine, you, the chores are going to fly. They're going to fly by. You have all your bedroom clean in 15 minutes. Now you got the rest of the day. And then at 6 o'clock, you're supposed to do marketing. Okay, so from 6 to 7, you do marketing. So after that, then you do your craft, <clears throat> whatever that is, to fill your store or to fill orders or just to play while you're watching TV. But it, it, that part don't matter because once you're on a routine, then you have the whole day to do whatever else you need to be doing. Right? So every month on the first, you pay all your bills, write your letters. Say, I can only pay five on this and five on that. Keep, keep that in storage. File that away for seven years. And keep it pushing. One thing at a time, at a time, at a time. But if you don't do it and stick to it, it's just going to pile up again. And then you're going to constantly stay disorganized. You know, put it in your calendar. It's a, on the 15th of next month, you know, clean the refrigerator. And then you set your timer a day ahead. And then an hour ahead. So even an hour ahead, if you're at Sally's house, you say, oh, I got to clean the refrigerator. Okay, Sally, well, I got to come back. And honey, I'm quick to tell you, I can't talk now. This is my marketing time. Or this is my, you know, quiet time. <coughs> Whatever. Excuse me. You know, this is my such and such time. Let me call you back. And, uh, and you have to. You have to stick to the schedule. Because if you stay at Susie's house longer, the refrigerator don't get clean. You got mildew going shit on there. And then you don't want to do it later. And then you never want to do it. So the refrigerator just gets dirtier and dirtier. You know? And you can't have that. And cook in a clean house. And I know your house is clean, honey. <laughs> you know, Devin, not Dean. 
And uh, that's, that's what mama would say. Once you're on a roll, stick to the roll. Otherwise, it just gets more and more difficult. And who needs that added to life? You know? And of course, there's more little tips and tricks. But the main thing to me, put it in the cell phone, set your alarms, stick to the alarms. Because you know what happens if I don't blog every single Sunday? So I constantly work a little bit on the blog. So like, let's say I'm on a Facebook fan, my Facebook fan page for the angels and I might get inspired to type something. So I just put that right there on Facebook real quick and then I leave it there. And then come Sunday when it comes time to do that angel blog, I just go over there, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And then my blog is done. And the same for Tasha's Touch Jewelry and the same for my um, websites. So what I do now is I put what I need to change in the website on Facebook or wherever I can store it off of my personal hard drive. So then when it comes time to do the changes, I've already put it to myself in a comment someplace on one of my fan pages. See, so then all I do is go to the fan page. I say, okay, I'm going to, oh, add that category, add that tag, add that this, add that that, add this new section. But I word it in such a way that nobody knows what it's for, except me. See, so then right then you're working all week for, for that Sunday. And then even Sunday, it's not even really work. You take that, and you take that, and you take that. You delete it or add to it, or I, I like it so that I know I did it later. Because you got to check yourself to check yourself to check yourself and make sure everything's done. You know, like an accountant. You check it here, you check it here, you check it here. And if all three of them are done and they all balance, then you know you're done. If, if one balances and the other two don't, you know you're not done. You didn't do something somewhere along the process. See, so there's always checkpoints, checkpoints, checkpoints. And my checkpoint is I have a huge thing like this of all the main things I do every single day. In addition to adding the doctor's appointments, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday thing. You know, in addition to, like, make sure, make sure, because, you know, nothing is for sure unless you check it. All 15 social sites have something on it. At least one little thing every single day before I go to bed. So I open up all my tabs. Click, yes, click, yes, click, yes, click, yes, click, yes, click, yes, click, yes. Done. Okay. Now I can have, you know, a piece of watermelon and watch something funny. And enjoy my evening before I go to bed. And when, I promise you, once you stick to it and just do it, whether you like it or not, do what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, whether you like it or not. And that will save you time later on when you really want to do something. You already have your routine down. Now you know in your head, after about three months, now you know in your head, okay, so I can talk to Susie 15 minutes longer because I know it's only going to take me you know, 10 and a half minutes to wipe down everything in the refrigerator or bathroom. Well, the bathroom's pretty tidy. You know, I need to set out two more rolls from the storage cabinet, put two more rolls of toilet paper in the bathroom, and uh, get a fresh towel, put that out, and put the other towel in the hamper. The shower isn't too dirty, so I'll just, you know, put some Ajax and bleach. Well, I just, normally I just put bleach in the toilet because when you flush it, then everything goes down. Yeah, so like, let's say I peed right now, and then when I get off the toilet, I don't even flush it. I just add the bleach to the urine. Urine is clean, people. Get a grip. It's, it's number two that's not clean. Get a grip, okay? Uh, and I just add bleach to it, and I add a little bit more water to bring it up above the ring line, if there is one. There usually isn't, because I use bleach. Uh, and I just let it sit there. So next time I go pee, then I flush the toilet, and it's sparkly clean while I'm sitting on the toilet. If it's toilet, if it's bathroom day, then I spray around and I have my little um, stick that I put a rag on and then I get a long twist tie and I twist it on there and I leave it over there in the corner so I can do that while I'm sitting on the toilet and then you don't have any stains. Well, girls don't usually have stains and stuff. Guys do. So guys, you have, you know, spray and you just wipe that spray down at the base of the toilet and then when you get up, you can even spray some water, same stick, you know, because I don't believe in buying mops and stuff. Mama never bought no mop. We had to get on our hands and knees and mop. 
and I just spray water, wait two minutes, and wipe it down. And there's your mopping. Toss the uh, rugs in the laundry basket. That's it. Once you got a schedule and stick to it, your life is going to be great. Your house is always going to be kept. Your appointments are always going to be kept if you put them in your cell phone with a timer. You know, I even put, because sometimes, you know, I get to make jewelry. Or like last night, I did readings for almost four hours. So, yeah, I have to have a timer. Every, every day I set a timer to eat a little something I, uh, at 10, 10, wait, every four hours. You know, and so my timer goes off and I'm like, oh, did I eat something? No, let me go get a piece of fruit. Let me get a half a sandwich, you know, something to put keep in my stomach, especially for those of us that are um, diabetic. You know, I, my timer goes off every four hours. Eat a little something. And if I'm in one of those moods, I, can't, I just can't eat anything. Then I, I wait till I feel good enough to make a full meal and I put it in Tupperwares and I just leave it stacked in the refrigerator. So even if I don't feel like eating, I'll go take at least two spoons full of food and it's already prepared because I did that when I felt good and had the extra time when all my chores were done. And I know it might sound crazy, but I just got to keep telling you, once you're on a schedule and you stick to it, life gets greater. Just trust me. And all your friends will be like, oh, do you mean you can't talk now? You're cleaning. Well, yeah, well, they got to get used to your new routine, too. So a lot of people ain't going to like it, aren't going to like it, unless you talk and clean at the same time. Not everybody can do that, you know. So there you go, honey. Good luck with that. Let, it, let me know how you're doing. Okay, I got to make another video. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye, guys.